You are looking at the solar system. We are going to take a look at Neptune. Do you want to come? It is the last planet in the solar system and therefore the coldest. Get your coat and let's go! Now we are on Neptune, the ice giant. Its temperature is around 218 degrees Celsius below zero or 360 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. You are lucky to be here because it has only been visited by an unmanned spaceship, the Voyager 2. Hello Earthling! I will tell you some interesting facts about Neptune! Its low temperature makes it impossible for human life! Neptune's gravitational force is similar to Earth's. It is a big planet but not very dense because it's made of gas and liquids. In Neptune's atmosphere, there is hydrogen, helium and methane that can be used as fuel. This gas gives it its blue colour. Since it's the furthest planet from the Sun, it has a lot of ground to cover and takes 164 Earth years to complete one trip. This is one long year! Its name refers to the Roman god of the oceans for being a blue planet. Did you like your quick trip around Neptune? Now you can go back to Earth to share all you've learned. Have a good trip! You are looking at the solar system. We are going to take a look at Uranus. Do you want to come? It is the seventh planet in the solar system and the first to be discovered by the telescope. Grab on. We're headed that way. Now we're on Uranus, the ice giant. We can't land here because it doesn't have a solid surface. It is made of gases and liquids. Uranus is very far from the sun and it has only been visited by the unmanned ship Voyager 2. Hello Earthling! I will tell you some interesting facts about Uranus! No life has been found in Uranus because it's very cold and doesn't meet the needs of human life. Although Uranus is much bigger than Earth, its gravitational force is similar to ours because it's not very dense. Did you know that Uranus rotates vertically? The other planets all rotate horizontally. Uranus also has rings, although they aren't so hard to see. There is methane in Uranus's atmosphere that can be used as fuel. This gas gives it its blue colour. Did you like your quick trip around Uranus? Now you can go back to Earth and share all you learned. Have a good trip! You are looking at the solar system. We are going to take a look at Saturn. Do you want to come? It is the sixth planet in the solar system and the second gaseous one. Grab on, we're headed that way. We are now on Saturn, the ring planet. Its rings, made of rocks and asteroids, are really famous because they are the only ones you can see from Earth with a telescope. We can't land on Saturn because it doesn't have a solid surface. It is made of liquids and gases. Look how pretty! Hello Earthling! I'm going to tell you some interesting things about the planet. It is not possible for there to be life on Saturn because the temperature is very low. It can get as low as minus 180 degrees or minus 292 Fahrenheit. In Saturn's atmosphere there is helium, a gas that is used for X-rays and spaceships. It is the second biggest planet after Jupiter. Saturn's winds are really fast and reach 300 kilometers per hour and make a hexagon in its North Pole. Did you know that the first person to see Saturn's rings was Galileo in 1610? Saturn's gravitational force is less than on Earth, but even so, it's similar. Did you like the quick trip around Saturn? Now you can go back to Earth and share everything you've learned. 
Have a good trip! You are looking at the solar system. We are going to take a look at Jupiter. Do you want to come? It is the fifth planet and the biggest in the solar system. Grab on. We're headed that way. We are now on Jupiter, the giant planet. The first gaseous planet of the solar system. We can't land on it. It doesn't have a solid surface because it is made of gas and liquids, except for its core that is solid and is as big as the Earth. Hello Earthling! I will tell you some interesting things about Jupiter. It is not possible for life on Jupiter, but there could be life on one of its moons that is called Europe because it has a huge ocean. Jupiter has the fastest rotation speed of any planet and one day on Jupiter it is only 10 hours on Earth. Jupiter's atmosphere has three cloud layers that make the colors that we see. Did you see the big red spot? It is a huge storm! Did you know there have been seven aerial visits to Jupiter? Jupiter has more than 60 moons! The most famous are Europe, Ganymede and Callisto! There are so many that it can be considered a mini solar system! Did you like this quick trip around Jupiter? Now you can go back to Earth to share everything you learned! Have a good trip! Whoa! What a trip! We have learned so many things about this planet! Do you want to keep learning? Click on the seal and subscribe to the Smile and Learn channel to keep up with the new adventures!